Langchain is an abstract framework designed to link together all the necessary components required for developing a generative AI application. This serves as the abstract definition of Langchain. Now let's simplify this concept with an example. Consider the scenario where we need to determine if a pleasant conversation between a support person and a customer results in customer satisfaction. To address this inquiry, we require access to three crucial components. A vector database such as Pinecone to store all conversations in either audio or text format, a relational database for storing customer and ticket details, and a large language model like OpenAI. Presently, the manual chaining of these components is necessary, but this approach lacks flexibility. What if there is a desire to switch from OpenAI to the Gemini model? What if there is a preference to transition from Pinecone to the Milvis database? The answer to all these questions lies in Langchain. Agents have the capability to independently complete assigned tasks, but we can enhance their performance by explicitly providing tools for them. For instance, if the task is to mark an item as done in Jira, the Jira agent can be employed. Let's consider a scenario where a user poses a very complex question, and in order to answer it, we need to write and execute Python code. We can develop an agent that executes code to determine the answer. Here, we have the Python RPL tool, which assists the agent in composing a Python script, executing it, and then returning the result to the LLM for analysis. Let's pose the question, what is the 10th Fibonacci number? This question is somewhat intricate. The agent will craft the code, execute it, and provide the result. As we observe, the answer is available. Before we move on to the next agent, please consider subscribing to this channel. We will have a lot more generative AI videos in the future, so please subscribe. Next, what if we want to find something inside a relational database like MySQL or PostGre? For that, we have the SQL agent. This agent converts the question into a query, then executes the query and retrieves the results. These results are then analyzed and the answer is presented to the user. Let's pose the first question. We want to know the total number of students. As we can see, we only provided the database name, nothing else. The agent went into the database, searched for schema information, then automatically built and executed the query. Let's ask one more question. Give me students with marks more than 50. Here, we can see that we have three students with more than 50 marks. Next, we introduce the CSV agent, a tool enabling various operations on CSV files. As demonstrated, we've loaded a CSV file into the agent, displaying the data contained within. Now, when we pose questions in natural language, this agent is designed to provide answers. Let's inquire about the total number of males in the CSV. As observed, the agent executed the necessary operations and presented the answer. What if we wish to perform operations on extensive JSON data files? For that purpose, we have the JSON agent. Here, a JSON file has been loaded into our agent. If we ask the agent to retrieve information about a person with a specific ID, it will accomplish that task and present the information to us. Isn't that awesome? Let's explore an agent capable of retrieving information from the internet, including details about web pages. This agent opens the specified website in an embedded browser, navigates through all the links, and locates the required information. Let's ask it to return information about the first tag from langchain.com. As we can see, the agent has returned the first tag from the website. With this agent, we can select whatever content we need, making it crucial for automation. That concludes our discussion about Langchain today. We are preparing a comprehensive video focusing on Langchain's core concepts. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you.